decision uh, where you told him that you didn't want to take a bonus for this year. And I want to talk about that. But tell us, yeah. tell us about what happened on Saturday morning. Well, Andrew, thanks. Thanks for the chance to join you this morning. Um, first of all, I have just a, a ton of respect for Dave, and uh, and I appreciated the comments he made uh, uh, earlier this week. Uh, Saturday morning's conversation really came out of uh, my uh, discussion with the uh, families of the victims earlier in the week. Between the two hearings on uh, Tuesday evening, I, uh, I spent a few hours with the uh, with the families, and uh, I had the chance to listen to their personal stories, and. Uh, heard their sorrow, their grief, and, uh, you know, as a, as a father and husband myself, you know, I was, I was heartbroken over that. And, uh, you know, we take a lot of pride at Boeing in the, in the safety of the products we build, and, you know, people count on us for safe travel. And those stories just had a huge impact on me and, and caused me to think about, you know, what, what could we do as a company? What else could we do to help these families? And also for me just to step up with a sense of responsibility as a leader of this company, uh, I felt it was important for me to, to forego uh, those bonuses and uh, you know, s send a message of responsibility and also just begin to think about how we can help with the healing for these families. So I called Dave Saturday morning and conveyed my uh, request to do that. And uh, uh, Dave convened the board and there was a good discussion around that. Uh, but again, that all ties back to our mission as a company and the importance of the work we do. Do you think you didn't appreciate the victims before this, though. I mean, and yeah. I ask it because you did get to see them in person. Yeah. But there's been so much criticism and critique of the company uh, throughout this whole process yeah. that it hadn't been as human. And I wonder whether you feel now that you should have gone and visited with those victims earlier. Yeah. Andrew, I, I, I think about that every day. And uh, I, I wish I had gone to visit them earlier. You know, we've been focused ever since the accidents on, on understanding what happened, doing everything we can to, to fix the airplane, to improve the MAX. We've been focused on uh, working to make it the safest airplane ever to fly. Right. Um, but the personal element of this and the impact it's had on families, you know, it's reminded me of, of uh, the importance of the work we do. And we talk a lot about, at Boeing about the fact that lives depend on what we do, literally. And that should demand this incredible sense of excellence in how we do it. But until it's personal, until you really talk with the families and really hear those personal stories, uh, there's nothing else like that. And, and that's going to stick with me forever. It's, it's now, you know, it's part of me. And it's, it's part of the legacy of our company. And uh, we're going to learn from it. And it's going to make us better as a company. So, but as a leader, so how, how it's important to hear that. How much money are you giving up? Oh, tens of millions of dollars, like, ultimately, by the, by the time the numbers are calculated. To me, it's not, it's not so much about the, the dollars, the, the, the dollar figures themselves. It's more about a sense of responsibility here and focusing on what's important and conveying to our team, uh, to all of our customers, uh, to the families that, to me, it's, it's not about the money. It's about the importance of what we do and our commitment to safety as a company. This all needs to tie back to a culture of safety. I That's what some, makes our company I saw work. some voices out there after you announced this say, you know what, he should have taken the bonuses and given them to a victim's fund. Yeah, well, part of, part of my plan, and I haven't been public about this, but part of my plan is to contribute uh, significant amounts of that to charity, and uh, uh, that'll include substantial amounts going to the, the funds that we've set up for the victims' families. That's a, a personal decision for me, but uh, something I intend to do.